Where we're standing here right now is at the uh, the new health and fitness center that's being constructed by the Grand Forks Park District. Uh, this is a, a pretty unique project for the, the city of Grand Forks and our community. Uh, the project itself is roughly a $23 million new facility that sits on roughly 50 acres of property. It's a, a public facility that's being constructed largely by private donations. AE2S, as a good corporate citizen here in Grand Forks, did play a role in those donations and we're proud of this facility. Specifically what you're seeing here behind me is the regional detention pond that was created to make sure that we don't cause any adverse impacts uh, downstream of the site. Uh, the, the pond itself is designed uh, uniquely to, to do many things. There's uh, water quality aspects to the design of the pond, there's water quantity aspects when I talk about flooding and downstream capacity, uh, there's recreational aspects. Uh, this is a recreational facility. The park district itself had a lot of interest. To, if they're going to put a pond on their property, let's not make it a slew hole. Let's make it something worthwhile that we can make educational, uh, that we can use for fitness, uh, and make it more of an amenity. And so. Uh, we've done a few very unique things out here on this project. We've constructed a few uh, rain gardens, filtration facilities throughout the parking lots. Uh, those filtration facilities uh, feed water to the pond system, so we're making sure we clean up that water a little bit before we, we store it in more of an open water capacity. So this is the biofiltration swale that we're using on the site to treat water that comes off of our parking lot prior to getting into our larger pond. Uh, this is in the middle of construction, it's not done. Uh, what we have here is a fairly unique system that's not used much in this region and, and in most of North Dakota, frankly. Uh, you tend to see more water quality basins, basically dry basins or wet basins. In this case, what we're utilizing is uh, essentially sediment to remove the contaminants. What we have here is a mixture of sand and peat. Uh, it's primarily sand, about 80 to 5, 80, 80 to 85 percent sand with uh, 10 to 15 or 20 to 15 percent peat in there. It gets mixed on site and water is filtered through this prior to going to an underdrain into the pond. What you'll see here when this is all done is you'll see this planted with different native vegetation and it'll look more like an integrated landscape feature than a stormwater feature. There is a windmill that is a wind-driven aerator. Uh, you typically don't see things like that around town. We're getting a lot of questions and chatter. And so if, if you looked a little bit at what these windmills do, they provide a uh, environmental friendly solution to making sure that we're aerating and turning over the, the water column in the pond. Um, that has many benefits. Uh, I think many in our wastewater group would understand that you, know, you, you aerate water to clean it up. That oxygen transfer in the water helps with many things, biological processes, nutrient removal, um, you know, just making sure that that water stays fresh. And so as we look at these aerators, uh, they're very interesting. Each one of them, there's three of them on the project and, and the three aerators uh, each have two uh, wind-driven diffusers that are set on the pond bottom. Um, those diffusers are ceramic diffusers, very similar to a wastewater type application, but the interesting thing is we're not pumping a lot of power into them. If there's anything we have around here, it's plenty of wind, and so we're using the wind to drive the compressor that's sending air into the pond bottom through those diffusers, and it's bubbling the pond in six different locations. When we wrap this up, uh, you know, the pond itself is six acres. It, it'll be roughly a half mile long, uh, which is quite large, you know, from a, a city regional pond perspective. We've got, you know, a lot of nice projects like this. I think we're, we're off to a good start from that regard.